Welcome in Sweeton 3D 1.7 tutorial. To start your layout faster, get an image of your plan that you will import in Sweeton 3D. The import background image wizard helps you to define the scale of your image that will be displayed in plan, then lets you define the origin point of the image. Once done, select the Create Walls tool and click in the plan at each wall hand. Double click to finish a set of walls or press the Escape key. At any time, you can change the point of view in the 3D view with the mouse or the keyboard. While you are drawing a wall, a tooltip displays the length of the current wall and its angle with the previous wall. To modify a set of walls, select them by choosing Select All out of the menu, by drawing a surrounding rectangle, or by clicking on them. You may change the wall thickness, the wall height, as the color and the texture of both wall sides. Once done, drag and drop doors and windows from the catalog on walls in plan. If the opening direction of a door is wrong, edit its attributes and select the checkbox Mirror Chip. You may copy and paste any item in the plan. A door or a window will appear on the left side or the right side of a wall depending on the location of the mouse cursor on that wall. If a kind of door, window or furniture is missing in the default catalog, you may import it in Sweetum 3D with the Import Furniture Wizard. The website of Sweetum 3D proposes more than 300 3D models created by contributors. Download the model that you like and choose a downloaded file in the wizard. Change the orientation of the 3D model if needed and enter the value of its attributes name, whether it should appear in the catalog or not, its size, if it's a door or a window, and if it's a movable item. Once imported, you may move the model to its location as any other one of the default catalog. Your base plane is now ready. You may delete the background image if you want to and save your home in a file to reuse it later or share it with other users. If you want to modify the appearance of floors and settings, select the Create Rooms tool and double-click in plan at the location of each room. Then select the rooms you want to modify and edit their attributes to change the texture of their floor for example. A wooden floor for the entrance and the living room, blue tiles for the bathroom, and another kind of tiles for the kitchen. You may import your own images to create additional textures if you want to. You are now ready to lay out furniture in your home. Add first bathroom equipment for example. Resize a piece if its default size doesn't suit. A piece may be placed along a wall if the mouse cursor is dropped on that wall. The default catalog of Sweet Home 3D contains 75 pieces of furniture that should cover the basic needs of people starting using this software. is now equipped, let's arrange the living room. You 
you may place in it tables, chairs, sofas, TV units, and bookcases for example. If you need to edit a group of PCs, select them first by clicking on them while holding the shift key. Then choose the modify menu item out of the menu. You may for example change the color of a group of PCs. You may drag and drop each of the four corners of a selected piece in plan to change its orientation, its size and its elevation. Change of point of view in the 3D view to discover how your layout may render. Resize window panes to view more details. And use virtual visit mode to go for a walk in your home as if you were there. You may navigate in the 3D view by moving the mouse while holding its left button pressed, by rolling the mouse wheel to move forward or backward, or by using the arrow keys of the keyboard. You may also improve the documentation of your plan with dimensions and text. To draw dimensions, select the Create Dimensions tool and draw each dimension with three clicks in the plan. You can add text after selecting the Add Text tool. Then enter the text once you clicked at its location. You may change the font size and the style bold or italic of the text. A text may also be associated to each room or piece of furniture to display its name. Before printing your home or creating a PDF file, check its page setup and choose page orientation, which information should be printed and page here and footer. The print preview dialog box will display your document as it will look out of your printer. Sweet Home 3D comes with a full help system in which you can navigate as in a web browser and search information. Preferences dialog box, you may choose among more than 10 languages. You can change length unit where the plan grid should be displayed and other default values of the software. Finally, use Sweet Home 3D website to find more 3D models, read additional documentation like Sweet Home 3D user's guide that explains how to create the same home as the one shown in this video tutorial. You can get there too some plugins that offer additional features to Sweet Home 3D. Once you downloaded a plugin, double click on it to install it in Sweet Home 3D. Then relaunch Sweet Home 3D. Click on plugin icon to use its features. For example, the create plugin photo shown here computes an image with a more realistic rendering thanks to Sandflow library. 